one word, one look was all it took. You got me hooked. Now I'm falling so fast for you. One touch was enough to fall in love. You got me stuck. Now I'm falling so uh-huh. fast for yeah. you. One word, one look was all it took. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to make two waffles with my high key waffle mix and some sausage. And this is for dinner, but we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. And I'm also gonna be unboxing this really cute waffle machine that I just got today. So let's get to it. I got my waffle machine today in the mail and because of Valentine's Day, I, uh, I ordered a heart one. So I just got it and I'm gonna unbox this with you. I got it off of Amazon. So let's take a look at what it looks like. It just comes in a little plastic, you know, covering. Look how cute this is. It's so cute. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead and make some waffles with my high key waffle mix that I've not used yet that I unboxed for you guys the other day. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what this is. It comes with nothing important. What comes in this little pouch? Let's see. Directions. I like how they put it in this little container. That's really cute. Uh, it just gives you, like, directions. Nothing serious. Okay. Look at how cute that is. Oh, my God. Does it give you recipes? No. Okay. They do. They give you some recipes. I'm sure I can see what I can do with them. But okay. So that's that. I got it from Amazon and I'll show you that link in the corner. But let's get started making dinner. We're having breakfast for dinner. Okay. So first things first, I want to get my brown and serve sausages in the pan for three links. It's 180 calories and two carbs. So it's very low. So I'm going to go ahead and put three and get this going. I like to add a touch of butter to the pan. So I'll get that in there as well. These are frozen. I keep, I cook them just like that. I have it on a low heat. And what I like to do is just cover it with just a like lid. that. Okay, so it's on a very low heat because you don't want it to burn. So let's go ahead to mixing up this waffle mix. So basically it says we need one egg, two tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm just using regular oil, three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk, and one-fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's get the egg into the bowl first in case any shells get out. What we want next, let's go ahead in with... Uh, what do we call next? Two tablespoons of coconut oil. So, I'm going to use my little measuring spoon. Okay. Next is three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk, which I'm using the vanilla flavor, which I showed you guys in my past video. Okay, so we're gonna get three of these. Okay, and then we are gonna do a fourth, a fourth teaspoon of vanilla. So, Just using imitation. A little bit. I, I think I put a little bit more than I should have. Maybe a half, but that's okay. This thing we want to do is one half cup of the pancake mix. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and mix this up. 
Okay, guys, so for this this high-key pancake waffle mix, it's two carbs per serving. And what we're doing here is, okay, this makes six four-inch pancakes. So... Let's see what the serving size is. Serving size is three. So for this whole mix here, it's gonna be four carbs, okay? Okay guys, so I washed my waffle maker because it just came out of the box, so I did that and dried it off and everything, and I plug it in, and it says to wait until this light goes off before you put your ingredients inside the waffle maker. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Okay, let's just open that up. You wanna spray it with some kind of cooking spray. I'm using this butter flavored spray. It's zero everything. Just do a light spritz on there. Okay, now you can go ahead and put your batter in. And I'm gonna just do it spoon by spoon because I don't want it to overflow. I think that's plenty. Okay, and then shut it down and let it cook. Okay guys, let's take a look at it and see how it's going. That looks perfect to me. I want to go ahead and get this out of here. Let me grab a plate. Just a rest one. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and add the batter that's left. check out the second one this one came out perfect get it on this plate we have enough for about one more I'm gonna put whatever's left in here this could have easily made for the first one I lifted up too early and it fell apart so that's why you're only seeing three but this would have made four okay just a heads up Hey everyone, this is the final product. It came out perfect. I think it looks so good. Um, this is the high key waffle mix and some sausage and strawberries. Manja! Okay guys, I'm ready to do a taste test on these waffles. Let's try it out. It's very good. All I have on here is some butter and some sugar-free syrup. It has a really good consistency. It's like a fluffy texture to it. Um, I'm not a fan of almond flour. I'm not sure what's in this in the ingredients, but I'm gonna check that out. Um, it doesn't taste like it, so it's really good to me. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely would recommend this. Um, it's not ex too expensive. I mean, this is something I'd use once in a while. Um, and you can definitely do other stuff with it too. I could have added blueberries to it stuff like that so definitely check it out it's high key